action. Oh my god, are you okay? Did you yep. just hit your head? We're good. Hello! <laughs> We're professional bakers today, and today we're going to be baking us a za. What's a za, you may ask? It's a pizza. Because what's today, John? Uh, February 1st? I mean, in terms of when this video's uploaded, it's, it's National Pizza Day! National Pizza Day! <laughs> and you know what that means? Pizza time. Pizza time. Except this time, we're deciding to step it up, okay? Now, for the last couple of years, you may have noticed a pattern, you know? First year pizza time. Pizza time. We bought ourselves a pizza. In a Spider-Man suit. In a Spider-Man suit. Hot and ready. It's pretty solid. Fun time. Second year of pizza time. Pizza time. We designed our own pizza. And watched other people make it. But this year, I wanted a challenge. I wanted to push us so far beyond our own comfort zone. So today, we're going to make our very own pizza. So, that's what we're going to do, John. Now, uh, what do you say that we get some ingredients uh, shown off? For nice close-up oh, shots, you know. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's absolutely. do that. Let's do that. Yeah. We're we're gonna we're gonna cut the camera footage right now. Get that all on the table. Alrighty, John. So here we have our table, prepped with all of our ingredients for today's recipe. Would you mind starting us off with the first ingredient that we'll be using? Absolutely, I will. So, off camera, we were experimenting a little bit with with different types of pizzas we yeah, can make yeah, and stuff like just that. Different things, ingredients um, and such. I think the 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 basis, the absolute floor. Uh, and building blocks of a pizza is the floor. Of course. I mean, what else would it possibly be? The cheese? No, that just falls apart in your hand. Uh, trust me, I've tried. But this right here has got some, some strength to it, you know? This baby <laughs> slaps. What do we have next, Christian? All right, next I figured uh, I figured the next ingredient that we might want to include is uh, some rustic pizza sauce. Now, I figured that including this particular brand, you know, rustic, you know, I feel like the tetanus would really just give it an extra little bit of mm. in the strength, you know, so uh, just a little bit of added texture, you know, a little bit of grit from that rust, you know, so That's... I think that we made the appropriate choice of a going a little rustic, you know, a bit old school. Yeah, you know? I agree. That's a really good, good choice. And it also says that there's uh, three packets for 12 inch pizzas. Now, um, I didn't measure the, 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 the floor whenever I bought it, so if you could just like, yeah, like, like, like yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that looks about, yeah, yeah, that looks about right. That's about right. Cool. Okay. Sweet. So, uh, then let's move on to the next ingredient, then. Next ingredient, already stated a little bit a second ago, just some cheese. Yeah, some good old, basic, good mozzarella old mozzarella cheese. cheese. How many things, how many shreds of cheese do you think is in that, exactly? I lost count. Alright, so next we've got some, uh, some pepperoni, you know, good old Italian classic uh, Hormel brand. I hope I pronounced that right. I don't speak Italian. I'm English, American. I'm sorry. Ugh. Uh, but yeah, so some good old slabs of meat. You know, can't go wrong with that. And uh, how about how about for our next ingredient, John? Speaking of slabs of meat, mm. we got some beef, Ooh. summer sausage. And uh, which would you say that it probably leans closer towards being beef or sausage? Because I don't think you can really mix it too. Maybe I don't know. I don't cook. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I just eat the food. <laughs> anyway, but it's gluten free. It is gluten free. All right. Next up, we got some uh, some some sliced olives because you know putting just whole olives on top of your pizza probably gonna choke and die whenever you take a bite into that sucker. So uh, sliced olives makes it a little bit safer. And here on my channel, we're all about safety. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. That's what this entire tutorial is for. So you know, make sure that if you're under the age of like I don't know. 16 that you're getting a parent to watch over you know because like these little blade things they're, they're pretty dangerous they're, they're they they cut things up you know it's, it's pretty bad and you don't want to chop off some fingers oh by almost wrong oh it's, it's backwards nope. yeah nope. see make sure that you always have someone right next to you to help you out they steps that you don't fully understand and it's okay to ask for help sometimes yeah you know that's what my therapist tells me that sometimes it's okay to reach out last but not least we have a secret ingredient I think it's dog food. Here, let's... Yeah, put it up to the mic, please. Hello, welcome to my ASMR channel. Today we'll be baking a pizza with John the Baker Baker and me, C Tree. The guy that does SpongeBob on YouTube. C Tree, the real Tree. What, what's your guesstimation on what's inside, John? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I have no idea. I'm gonna guess beans. Beans, okay. I hope it's uh, I hope it's beans. That'd be pretty solid because I don't think dog food really goes with Italian food too well. You know, it's completely different nationalities. Oh, right absolutely. Now. Alrighty. Well, let's quit wasting time. Let's get started on uh, pizza time. Pizza time. The third, we bake a pizza and out pizza the hut. That's going in the title. <laughs> now hold on, John. Before we get started, it's important that we protect our lovely garments, you know? I mean, you're looking pretty fly in that shirt and I'd hate for pizza sauce to get on it. So, how about we just step off camera and we just go grab some aprons and maybe even a fancy hat or two. Are you ready? I'm ready. Refreshing change that was. So many crazy adventures we just had in the dressing room down there. I don't even know how we managed to fit it below the table. <laughs> we're gonna, okay, we're gonna. Griffin's calling me. Well, answer it. Come on, John. Answer, answer the phone. Come on, I'll answer it for you. No, no, no. Okay. Emily Wooten. <laughs> Hi. We're filming a, a, a cooking show. Unprofessional. No. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. Yeah, first Peter calls during our water taste test session, <laughs> and now this. Can we just like, not have a phone on set for like two seconds, please? Thank you, I, I would like to just focus on the project. Appreciate that, okay. Whatever, okay, let's get started, let's get started, guys. All right, so first steps first. We're gonna take our floor right here, and uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna open this one. You wanna like Lady in the Tramp this, you go one side, I get the other, and you're, yeah. This is tough. Do you hear it? It's oh, really good. bad for your teeth. Yeah, I can, I can feel that. I'm just ripping off pieces. I'm just stretching it. Here. Ah, mm. I got a little bit. Let's see if I can. I got two little bits. Here. This is your solution. We have technology. Ha ha! Never mind. Take a whiff. Oh, okay. Now that is the freshest smelling floor I've ever sniffed. Pretty good. <laughs> I'll have you know I've sniffed a lot of floors in my day. Some not, not as fresh as others. <laughs> let's carry on, shall we? So uh, well, let's get the uh, get the sauce. It's probably like directions. No, there's not. It just tells me about nipples. Uh, Naples and Florence. I'm sorry. Oh, there's instructions, even better. I've never done this before. We're gonna need some pizza sauce. I got, you know, you doing that just right now makes me realize I don't know why I literally went through the trouble of buying a rolling pin. <laughs> Real talk, I was gonna buy some like pizza dough from Pizza by Design so we could roll it out ourselves and do all that. Yeah, can you actually buy it from Pizza by Design? Yeah, yeah, it's like only $1.50 for like a, yeah, yeah, I, I was surprised. So, uh, not a sponsor, but. <laughs> hashtag should be sponsored. Hey, uh, speaking of which, um, Arizona green tea. Maybe H Factor water. I'm still waiting on that sponsorship. I tweeted you and everything too. Tagged you in the description. But where'd you pull through? You did it. So. Whatever. Oh, there we go. Here. Oh, this this one I can nibble. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna fly out. I got scared. I didn't want it to flick all over the place. Okay, here. How about we use scissors? <laughs> right behind you. <laughs> we're just gonna snip it like we're like one of those Jewish guys. Towards. <laughs> Why don't you have the first squirt? Yeah, you know what? Thanks. I appreciate that. Here we go. Got the first little. Well, I'll give a. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Careful. This is a. It's a pretty dangerous weapon right here. I'm just gonna take it slowly. Out. Oh, just slowly. Perfect. Here, I'll, I'll let you dab some of that sauce. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure, dude. I'm not gonna be selfish and hog the sauce for myself. That was me this morning. <laughs> <laughs> did you log it? <laughs> yeah, I did actually. Of course I logged it. For those of you who uh, aren't aware, download the app Poop Maps off of your uh, iTunes store or Google Play. 
Hashtag not sponsored, but should be sponsored. I use your app every day. I just passed my 100th poop. You can find me at Poop and Christians with the little I deleted, praying emojis. I deleted the app. Oh, hi. Uh, so next, we're going to take our little, uh, our little slappy thingy, and we're just going to... God. <laughs> that was so much louder than it should have been. For, like, a little thing of rubber. We're going to take our little spanker, and we're just going to... Pet our sauce. Pet the sauce. Yeah, we're going to pet the sauce. We're going to... Pet it, make it feel good, like it's gonna get a treat or something. And that treat's gonna be the sweet release of death whenever we bake it. Goodness. It, I mean, that's just how it's gonna go, dude. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't lie, because liars burn in hell. So I'm just gonna speak the truth right here. We're just gonna keep on petting. There's no better way to do this. This is the definitive way that you have to spread the sauce. You gotta. Spread that sauce. Yeah, I gotta spread the sauce. What am I doing? I'm being so selfish, John. I'm so sorry. Here, you, you, you pet the sauce. Oh. Good boy. <laughs> it's a little too rough. Okay, you gotta, you gotta be a little bit more gentle. Ooh, you're going for the wide stroke right there. Check that circle. Check yeah. that circle. Can we get a close up on that circle? Yeah, come on, Caden. Get a close up on that circle. Come on, Caden. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Good, yeah. good circle. See, I'm getting a good spread. I'm. I'm mixing in that sauce yeah. with the dough with every circle. There's a reason why his last name is Baker, okay? The, we, we Listen, people think I was given it. I earned it. He did. He went through six years of vigorous training. Can you get that final check on that sauce? No, yeah, I think so. Just yeah, That's pretty good. That's, that's good pretty sauce. Good okay, so uh, John, what, what, what ingredient do you think that we need first? I am having a hard time recalling of uh, what typically goes on top of the sauce. Ah! I was thinking it was this piece of plastic. Of course, this is the cheese. <laughs> so I'll let you do the first pinch and uh, sprinkle it on there. Is it fresh? Ooh, it smells like it just came out of the, lac the, the lactating bosom of a cow. <laughs> Got a big, big pinch of cheese. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, John, don't forget the technique. Technique! I didn't go through six years at the academy for nothing. <laughs> I shouldn't have doubted you, John. I knew you were going to throw it in there. All right, okay, here we go. Now, I'm a little bit more uh, meticulous with my method, okay? So what I'll do is I'll just take the individual shred of cheese and uh, really lay it in there. Oh. I like to go for nice patterns. That's a good technique. It's a, it's a good technique, yeah. A little bit more tedious and a bit more time consuming, but you know what they say, uh, no, you can't rush perfection. So we're going to like try to, yeah. see how I'm making a circle out of my cheese right here? So. Good. Yeah, going well. So, uh, I got bored, so I'm just gonna, you know, put it on there. You know, I don't want this video to last forever, even though YouTube's algorithm will really favor it more the longer that it takes. I'm, I'm a big, uh, ooh, ooh, that's a stringy boy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the thumbnail. But it'll be the thumbnail, but it's nowhere else in the video. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. Now I'm going for the, the all-time secret method of uh, cheesing this pizza. I'm going to put this on top just in case. Oh, it's still on. Yeah, here's... Mm, yeah, just that's, really get in there. See, that's the secret method that only the professionals at yeah. Domino's do. Now, I want to mention that I haven't washed my hands, so we're going to get a little bit of extra <laughs> flavoring in there. Don't worry, I didn't either, and I just came from moving someone's house. Ah, oh, perfect. That's that's amazing. Got to get that uh, that dust in there. All that elbow grease, that, that corona. The tears that probably uh, have soaked into like the couch cushions and such. Yeah. So we moved the couch. It was mainly like some, some, some tables and, and boxes. So, who knows what kind of tales those old boxes carry. Yeah, I mean, if they, you know what they say, if boxes speak or something, I, I don't know, is that, is that the phrase? It is now. <laughs> Quote me on that. Hey, Caden, what are you doing on off camera over there? Here, why don't oh. you sprinkle that last little bit there, good sir? Sure thing, sir, of course I will. Uh, you know what, you know what, you know what? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, yeah, there we go, get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even distribute, even distribute. No, I can't speak right now for some reason. Even distribution. There oh you go. yeah. Something the free market wouldn't understand. <laughs> Getting political in this. <laughs> oh, doesn't only work on paper. <laughs> okay, we're we we've hollowed our cheese sack, so we're just gonna drop it into the discard pile that we've started accumulating right there. Uh, John. What, what, do you, what do you think is going to come up next? 
Here. Let's add Siri into this. Okay. Heads. Feds. All right. Is heads. pepperoni. Tails. Beef. Summer sausage. I hope it lands on tails so I can make a joke. Flip a coin. It's tails. So no head? So how much pepperoni do you think we should go crazy with this, you know? Well, let's see. An even distrib di dis di distribution? Yes. Um, we can speak English, I swear. Pepperoni. Okay. Uh, per yeah, slice of pizza. Yeah, it's juiced on me. Okay, how many? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> let's see. How many slices are we going to do? Probably going to do like the typical eight slices. Eight slices? Yeah. So every slice, let's see. We're not see. weird. We're not going to... We're not gonna do four slices. That's that's dumb. Let's see. So every sixteen. About three, <laughs> sixteen slices. About three. Four. Listen, I played Papa's Pizzeria. There's been a weird request of pizza slices before. Okay, I, it's nothing new to me. So I'm gonna say sure. uh, an average three or four per slice. So we're gonna go ahead and do eight. All right. Double pepperoni on every single slice. Sounds good. So let's get our, uh, so eight per times eight, so 64 pieces of pepperoni. Do we have 64 pieces of pepperoni? I'm sure we've got a lot. There's a, yeah, I'm certain we've got 64 pieces. Just grab a stack yeah, of let's ratatouille. Just, I was gonna make that joke, damn it. I was gonna say that whenever I first watched ratatouille, I was like, what's so special about a stack of pepperonis I'm eating? And why is some of it yellow? Little did I know that uh, it's only vegetables. after watching ratatouille every single day for an entire year would lead me to being a cook and trying to follow my dreams. You're, you're putting eight pepperoni on each slice. Well, we're putting a, we're putting 64 on right. the pizza on each slice. You're putting 64 pepperoni on each slice. No, I'm not counting. I'm just putting it on. <laughs> we, we got our we got our pepperoni pretty well distributed. My fingers are all nice and greasy. You know, I feel like I could slip through any crack and crevice. Sure, why not? We'll eat a raw pepperoni. I hope I get ringworm from this. No, they're cooked. I hope I get ringworm from this. <laughs> Next we have the uh, beef summer beef. sausage. That's one way to do it. That, yeah, okay. Sounds like you got it. I'm an animal. I hope the guy it drips on in there. This is the most dangerous part of the entire operation, folks. We need like a knife to cut it. John, we're, we're masters of karate. Do we really need a knife? John's gonna uh, appropriately chop that up into pieces, and I'm gonna steal another pepperoni. I tried buying like the chunky pepperoni or the chalk the chunky sausage that you usually find on your typical pizzas, oh, but this is a mess. <laughs> this is this is a mess. Nice. This is a mess. It smells. <laughs> so is this like skin or is that like a wrapper? That's that's skin. Okay. Okay. All right. I guess. Oh, there it goes again. I guess one way or another. This is disgusting. Skin's wrapper. Christian, this we might not be able to use this. You want to maybe skip out on the sausage? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we made a great mistake. There's no such thing as sausage. Since we're skipping over the sausage, we're gonna go ahead and uh, dabble some black olives on top of this thing. Uh, John? Yep? Do we have a can opener? <laughs> Alrighty. We found the can opener. Alrighty. John was gonna karate chop it with his forehead, but I suggested otherwise. Such a nice can opener. It's so much easier to use than mine. Like this just rotates so much easier. And there. Perfect. Okay. All right, and we're just gonna reach in here. You know, just plop a boy down. You gotta do the the underhand toss. Ooh, ooh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, like a like a horseshoe. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Now, people are familiar with the the game of horseshoes, I assume. But did you know that it originally started off as uh, tossing olives? See, I would have just lost the point right there. And considering whenever this game started, back in ancient colonial times, it would have deemed me a witch, and I would have burned at a stake. Here, check this out. I got the double. Ooh, ooh, double. So it's practically a whole olive. Ooh, that was good, John. You nailed it. Let me get that distribution. Yeah, the word that we can't pronounce for some reason. <laughs> the good thing about uh, baking your pizza is that even though you don't wash your hands, um, it'll, the, the heat will just burn away any disease that you might have picked up, like swine flu, H1N1, coronavirus. <laughs> Zika. Bird flu, yes, Zika virus. No, that, that was the thing. E. coli, I think. E. coli was a pretty popular one for a moment. All the cool kids were trying it. Think that's enough olives? Zika, Ebola. Yeah. Yeah, that's Ebola. enough olives. Ebola. All right, and uh, I think we've only got one last ingredient left to try. Granted, we have two, but we're not doing the sausage, so uh, yeah. Um, ooh, thank you, cameraman Caden. This is where things get messy. It smells like the dentist. I was gonna say, like, that just reminded me of like my last prostate exam. And, Speaking of which, have you had yours recently? Mm. Got it. 
Right. You got it. Oh, it's backwards. Oh. <laughs> Nice, all right, that means that we're ready to do business. Okay, here we go. Kaden, uh, you're the only person who never got to put in a guess as to what the secret ingredient is. So, uh, would you care to put in a guess for yourself? Um, pickles. 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 It's a jar of pickles. Okay. Jar of pickles. I don't know why you'd put that on a za, but pickles. I mean, pickles? people put tons of things on za, so you know. You'd be surprised, people put pineapple on, on pizzas. Yeah, it's weird, why would anyone? Sickos. That'd be, that'd be strange. That would be pretty strange. Yeah, people are gross, but you know, whatever. We're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna pop this baby open. Here we go. Hold that straight. And, and you're gonna. You're. No. You're gonna. Three weeks later. I got it. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Gotta point that away from the camera just so that way no one sees what's in here. So it remains as a surprise. There. That's yeah. perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Drain all of that. Yeah, because apparently there's a fluid in here. It smells a little sweet. It's not the dog food I was expecting. Right, gotta shake it out like you're just finished using the urinal or filling up your car. Here we go, boyos. And our secret ingredient is. What the f is this? Okay, controversial. I know, I know. It's it's not very it's not very uh, highly regarded, you know. But you know, I think that we could still make it work. You know, th this is just another challenge for us master chefs to try to push on through. There, you just grab that slippery boy, and uh, okay. I mean, I guess we can eat. Oh. Okay, let's start spreading. We can't grab start spreading, spread John. I'm not supposed to do that till Valentine's Day. Oh. But on bum bum bum. Goodness. <laughs> You know, the yellow really complements the red pepperonis. Now this uh, this recipe that we're going off of is actually from uh, one of the oldest pizza recipes that there that you can find on Wikipedia. It's um, Gucci? Gucci? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I'm hungry. I feel that. Don't worry, John, we'll be, we'll be chowing down soon enough. And Caden is gonna be our first test subject. So uh, if he dies, we know to avoid it. Um, but yeah, so this is one of the oldest recipes. Um, Found on the Rosetta Stone, actually. Really? Yeah, it was written in ancient Egypt, uh, Egyptian hieroglyphics and such. So uh, a lot of people think that like the whole pyramid with the eye on top of it is the imagery, but it's actually a pizza slice with the eyeball on top. Most important step of baking a pizza is you gotta make sure you have something to bake it with and at the proper temperature. So uh, we are going to bake our pizza at 400 and. 50 degrees, bake, yes. Here we go, that's a 350, 360, 365, 370, 375, 380, 385, 390, 395, 400, 405, 410, 415, 420, nice, nice, 425, 430, 435, 440, 445, 450, there we go, perfect, that's gonna be our temperature, so we're gonna, I assume it's gonna scream at us whenever it's ready, so um, yeah. No, no, just wait. Yeah, let's 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 nom on some pineapple. I'm I'm gonna steal me some more of those olives that I'm gonna waste because olives are pretty dope. I remember as a kid, whenever I was alone, you know, needing a friend, I just pop open a can of olives, put them on my fingertips, and be like, "Oh, hey, we're your friend, Christian," and then I bite their heads off because, you know, people eventually hurt you in the end. So why even bother trying to make new relationships? <laughs> Alrighty, I got my safety oven mitt on and uh, we're gonna be putting the pizza into the oven now to bake. I assume it's at 450 degrees. I don't know, the oven didn't scream like I'm used to them doing. Yeah, we're just gonna put the pizza on there. Okay, I'm here. Gloves. I think you're a little late to the party, Jonathan, but it's okay. Oof, this pizza crust is a little bit flimsy. I think that we can Oh, that pizza crust is breaking. Cool. Oh, it's so hot. I don't know. Just keep the hell up real quick. So hot. This is the worst way to do this. Yeah, there has to be a better way. You got that six apart. Okay, maybe I can just like carry it from here. Yeah, that's okay. That's like easily the worst way to do this. Okay, I'm afraid that if I. You wanna grab an oven mitt maybe? That might have made this a little easier. Shouldn't I be taking it? I've got the oven mitts. I got it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe you should. I'm getting the oven mitts. 
and slide that bad boy. <laughs> I would have stopped by making a pizza to be so stressful. Okay. Now eight to ten minutes. Eight to ten minutes, gotcha. Eight to ten minutes later. Okay, so we're gonna figure out how to after the lengthy struggle we had of getting this pizza into the oven. We're gonna see how we get this out. Um Oh wait, 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 wait. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Okay. Pull that out a bit. <laughs> Push it to the edge, cause all its friends are dead. Okay, yep. We're just gonna, yeah. Woo! Flawless. Wow. That went so smooth. Okay. Woo! Now we let it cool. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna wait like another couple minutes or so, so. Yeah! We finally got our pizza ready. I think it's about cool off, so I'm um, John. I'll let you make the first incision, Mr. Up-and-coming EMT man. You gonna do a long ways cut, maybe? Yeah, why not? Good, you're good, you're good. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to cut it again, because it's not... It's fine. Cut. It's not shredded like you are. Hey, see what I did there? There we go. Whoa! 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 Cool. I think that did it. All right, Caden. So, um, feel free to step into the shot right here. Let's uh, get you standing between us. Here you go. This is this is cameraman Caden right here. Hey, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Hey, hey, that's fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's just it's just the camera. It's okay. So, what are your expectations with this pizza? Well, I've never had a pineapple on a pizza. Oh, really? Also, just so you could finally like have a not firm. A, not a black hole. Okay. 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 Are you racist? Okay. <laughs> I don't like green. I don't like green olives. Yeah, I don't, I don't like green olives either. Those are just scary looking to me. I don't like the red pits in them. It genuinely freaks me out. I don't like it. All right, so we'll let Kaden take the first bite. I'll do that thing that everyone does because it's like a oh, first bite. Oh, 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 but like, hold on, like, if before you do that, can you like uh say it for the camera? First bite. No, oh, like no. that. First. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it, Kaden? What time? Kaden, what time is it? We're asking you. Pizza time. Pizza, time. Pizza time. Pizza time. Okay. Oh, you dropped your first olive. Okay. Mm. How is it? Can you taste uh, John and I's hands in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. he, he took a second bite. That's good, right? No, can we a start? third. Can we start? Yeah, why not? Hmm. I'm kind of surprised. Wow. Oh. I'm surprised how good it is. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm kind of vibing with this. Let me try a pineapple. This turned out a million times better than I ever would have hoped it would. Oh. <laughs> I'm kind of expecting it to turn out awful. Like we burned down the house or something. Why don't people like pineapple pizza? I mean, like, if you're going for more of a, a sweeter taste to mm -hmm. it, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not my favorite. But that's not what I'm ah. looking for when I have pizza. Right, yeah. My opinion on the pineapple pizza argument, I don't like it. I enjoy it. I don't hate it, I'll put it that way. I don't hate it either, but I like being on the extreme side of the argument where it's like, ah, oh, that's the worst thing in the entire world. See, not of this, not of this, but like a, mm -hmm. look at this. <laughs> Pretty good for two men in their early 20s who don't know how to make anything. <laughs> hey, I'll have you know that I'm a master chef when it comes to macaroni and cheese. <laughs> how do we top this next year? Not the Christians. We deliver a pizza. That's what we'll do next oh, year. Actually. Spoiler alert, we're delivering a pizza. I'm like very, very impressed. I feel like I can cook anything now. Like, I guess get Chef Gusto was right. Anyone can cook. Alrighty, so our pizza actually turned out pretty good. I, I'd say so. I bought a spare, just in case this one turned out to be a disaster so we'd still have something to eat because we've been fasting ourselves just in preparation for this occasion. So, um, yeah, while, while Mike's Pizza, hashtag not sponsored, but should be sponsored because I buy this pizza like all the time. So, uh, yeah, Caden, what, what, what'd, you, uh, what'd you think of our pizza? What would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. How about, how about, how about you, John? A solid, like... Dub? W? Yeah, yeah. For win. 
I, I'd say on a scale of uh, best pizza ever, worst pizza ever, I'd say it's best pizza ever. Where, where that line lies somewhere in that spectrum, who knows, but very broad. So, yeah, I'm, yeah. Maybe we should do more cooking videos. This could be fun. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, cool. Be fun. Alrighty. Maybe, maybe we started something new. All right. Well, thank you folks for joining us on this wonderful occasion. Um, we'll have another water review <laughs> for you, maybe, someday. Is there a national water drinking day? There's got to be. There's a holiday for literally everything. I'll find out. Are you taking a phone call? Sorry. Kaden, are you serious? I'm filming with these. Oh! I'm filming. What are you doing, dude? Just John just literally. Yeah. You, what the frick? Hey, John. You freaking oh. freaks! Are you in the call too? Are you, are we, we're in the same what? call. What? No way. Oh my god. You, you're ruining the video. Yeah, okay, good, good. whatever. Like, comment, oh, subscribe. Good. Bye. Thank you, John. <laughs>